Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle, I'm Abby Peel. Here are some ideas from our Lake Centipede Region Chamber of Commerce to get us moving towards a more normal time. Hi, Ashley. Hello, hello from the informational booth right here on Main Street. It's Ashley at the Lake Centipede Region Chamber. Um, it is spring, well, hopefully. It's coming very quickly. The warmer temperatures are getting everyone very excited. We're very, um, we're looking forward to the calendar of events that it's really taking shape for the summer season. Um, here at the information booth, we're starting to restock all of our shelves and make sure we have all of the up-to-date content for all of our travelers and guests that will be coming through over the next few months. We have all of our information throughout the course of the, the office here from the Sunapee information guide, from our regional information guide. This is our current one and we're coming out with our newest one at the beginning of May. So if you're interested to pick up your new Lake Sunapee region information guide, the new one will be here at the office at the beginning of May, which really kicks off for us the summer season. So it is maple month and we do wanna make sure everyone's taking the time. I think there's about one week left whew, to maple season. So if you have not yet visited a local sugar house, we encourage you to visit one of our newest members, Harding Hill Farm in Sunapee. So Tyler Webb and his family are doing a fantastic job. Their sugar house is gorgeous. Take some time, look at their website, and see if you can head over there for a quick tour. A lot of other things taking place right now. We encourage everyone to listen to our local radio program, Day Trip Destinations, which happens on our local radio station, WNTK FM 99.7. It happens every Friday morning at 9 a.m. You get to hear yours truly with Matt Cross, the general manager, talk about things that are going on locally and places you can spend your money. So our biggest and most important piece here at the Chamber is supporting all things local. So to be able to talk about three featured places on that radio program, which kicks off the, the weekend for everyone, is very exciting. Head to WNTK.com to listen to the latest podcast and to see all of the wonderful sponsors who have helped make the program last. Um, and we're hoping it continues through the course of the year. Some other pieces and parts as we move forward. Um, the chamber members here at the office are connected to all sorts of resources, not only local ones, state ones, and federal ones, but really member to member. Connections are important in every business that you have. So to be able to use your chamber in that regard is really a great member benefit. Right now, we're working with the Small Business Development Center, the SBDC of New Hampshire, to work on resiliency. So that is a, a, a topic and a, and a word I think a lot of people have not spent a lot of time using up until this past year. So our Resiliency Academy is kicking off in the beginning of April. So if you're a chamber member and you want to take advantage of that opportunity, it is a free resource. So you'll be able to take a series of workshops, really making sure that your business has all of the needed um, foundations, if you will, of resiliency moving forward. So in case we come to a situation where we're, we've experienced this past year, maybe we'll experience it again, no one knows, but we'll be prepared and we'll be ready um, for should something happen like this again in the future. We're working right now with a few tri-chamber um, opportunities. So our neighboring chambers are all working together. Again, all of our initiatives and all of our projects are all focused on staying local. So before the summer kicks off, we're gonna have a launch of a app um, for your phone. We're trying to meet members where we can get them and everyone who's coming to the area, we are all on our phones probably a lot more than we should. So to be able to use that medium to reach customers and travelers that are coming to the Lake Centipede region, we're very excited to see that happen. And it'll essentially be a directory guide where you'll be able to geographically pinpoint what's in your area and you'll be able to say, all right, I'm looking for some place to eat. So here's some suggestions from the app. I'm looking for a local hike. Here are some suggestions from the app. So we're working with a couple of our neighboring chambers on that project, and we're hoping to have that ready to rock and roll before the summer really kicks off. Another program we're working on is the Sunapee Region Arts Atlas. Through, so through the Center for the Arts and through the Library Arts Center, we are collaborating with them to create a printed map which will have artistic and cultural destinations that people can come up here to visit. And then that will have a corresponding website where people can then see all of the content, the social media handles, all of the uh, website content, the, the emails, the phones, the contacts, all of those things for those places. And that website will live in perpetuity with that printed map. So we're very excited about that project coming to fruition hopefully by the start of the summer season again. So this summer in reality is going to be a very busy one. 
I think a lot of people are ready to get out. They're ready to see things, even if it isn't necessarily at a large event, but it's just maybe taking a, a day trip or a road trip up to our region. So the chamber is ready and we're excited to be able to work with our members and get the word out about what they're doing and what they're offering to every traveler and resident and anyone coming to our neck of the woods. We love our visitors and we want to make sure that this summer is one of the best that we've ever had. Thank you, Ashley. And do check out the new weekly show on WNTK at 9 a.m. every Friday, highlighting potential weekend adventures and more.